Okay, this is the morning of day two. It is 6.30 in the morning in Fort Myers. Already uh, had a nice shower. Slept about four hours. And we're gonna try to get through the entire Lake Okeechobee today and up the east coast somewhere. So here's my cool setup and I'm doing a pre-trip pre hookah. Matt's still asleep downstairs. We had some awesome ribeyes last night. And day one, if you're ever thinking about doing a trip in a carver, I have a couple uh, pointers. Pointer one, don't try to go 16 knots. Your best cruising speed in a uh, boat this big is about eight knots to get a little over one uh, mile per gallon. Two, don't go in rough seas. We beat the storm yesterday and there's not gonna be any storm today, um, but we were booking it. Um, we just went out of Tarpon Springs and decided to head straight south and it was pounding us. So don't do that. Uh, we went in the Sarasota area um, and then we made our way down to Fort Myers and we we actually spent 17 hours driving the boat yesterday from 7 a.m. to just about damn near midnight and it's 6.30 now. The locks open up at um, around 7 o'clock so I'm letting Matt sleep a little bit. We have plenty of time for where we need to be. So uh, I'll give you some footage when we're, uh, when we're on the way. Cool. Just left anchor. We're going to uh, the first lock, the lock. And there's uh, Fort Myers behind us. So uh, we're definitely on our way. We're cruising just maybe 7.5 knots right now at uh, under 1800 RPM. So we got, uh, we got it. Bridge over there. That's um. This looks like a railroad bridge. Right here, we're coming up on our first uh, railroad crossing, and it it, it 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 was up right here, so we didn't have to worry about calling uh, calling ahead to get them to open it up. But um, but it was pretty cool to come up upon. And uh, it actually saved us a little time, I would say about 10 minutes or so, since, uh, since it's always in the up position unless a train is coming. So uh, we're definitely on our way and uh, almost to the locks. This is our one of our last, probably last, uh, big bridge out of Fort Myers, and, and we're definitely in the river right now, um, and the lock is it's not too far away. So uh, it was it was it's always it's always nice to go under these bridges and um, you know, just hear the hear the sounds of the cars going over. Basically uh, following this guy to the first log. We're 
we're coming on our first drawbridge uh, past Fort Myers, and we weren't we didn't have to have them open it up. It was about 25 feet as well. There's a marina off to the right with a with a restaurant. I wish I would have stopped there, but it was it was too late. To, you know, at the end of day one, uh, to do that. And we passed the uh, the powerboat guy that was behind us. We're currently past the first lock, and all of a sudden we come across another carver. Right here is my boat. The exact same boat. Yeah, it goes all the way back. That actually might be for sale. Yeah, that might be like a 2004 model. He's like, no, this is the top I want. We're at our first bridge crossing. Oh, uh, it's Seaco. Yeah. Go boat US. You gotta swing bridge it out. And uh, currently, Seaco is actually about to pass us. hat blows off and catches it. But yeah. He has a net. This is Bilanati. We're currently at the second lot. As you can see, we're holding on for dear life. It's not that bad. We only opened up a little bit. To let a little bit of water come through. We uh, we have a we have a few people uh, a few people watching. So we're going all the way to all the way back. So we have 78 miles till St. Lucie Lock. This is cool. One of the things I loved about uh, the river going to the canal, basically going to Lake Okeechobee, was how calm it was, and and it was it was just peaceful. And, and most of the trip is, is basically just uh, you're you're you got vegetation and trees and alligators and all kinds of wildlife. But it was in the it was in the winter, uh, January, so there there wasn't too many bugs out to to, to bother us during our, our entire trip. So we're at Moorhaven Lock. This is the uh, lock to get into Lake Okeechobee. And he's closing it right now. And we're gonna have a gush of water coming through. Gotta, gotta have your life raft. So we're currently at Roland's, getting some gas, getting some fuel, maybe go to the bar, have a, have a couple drinks, and then try to figure out how to do it. Alright, so we just entered Lake Okeechobee. There's where we came from. There's a lock that seems like it's always open for flood control or storm control or whatever. We're now in Lake Okeechobee, uh, making our way through the uh, to the initial uh, markers, basically going uh, going eastbound, and then we, you know, it curves around later on in the next clip. But 
it's, it's definitely getting colder out, and uh, over the next couple of days, it's going to be freezing. You see Matt there with his uh, jacket on trying to stay warm. Okay, so we're currently coming up to the red marker, the infamous red marker that you uh, guys might be aware of from, uh, I guess, Marty's video where he cut that. He cut the turn. Well, if you want to know which red marker it is, it's that one right in front of us. And there's a, uh, there's a note on Navionics specifically about it so you know cross our fingers but we're not we're not cutting that close it's, it, it tells us before you make the turn do 30 300 feet 300 feet around it and go around it 300 feet so that's what we're going to do we're going to stay out that direction 300 feet so uh wish us luck Okay, that, that red marker that I was just telling you about is right there. So we're about 300 feet on the opposite side of it. We don't cut corners here on Lake Okeechobee. So I heard. So uh, I think we're doing pretty good. Stay in the channel. <laughs> we, we're staying in the channel the entire way now. After here, we're going to go straight up ICW to St. Augustine. All right, so. That's perfect. We still have to go around it, but yeah, we're doing pretty good. Almost around it. Still got a little ways. This wind is kicking our ass. When we went around that red marker and we uh, started going north, the seas at Lake Okeechobee were starting to pick up, and it was small craft advisory on the lake right now. So uh, 35 feet or more is, is typically what you want to go through through um, small craft advisory. As you can see here, the waves are, are, are pounding us, and, and it's causing a lot of splash, and we're, we're making good way. I mean, we're, we're at eight knots right now, so but uh but, but uh, unfortunately what we don't know is what's laying ahead of us um even even though small craft advisory we went out on a lake and it's about 5 p.m. right now so we have another another 2 hours to go before we re reach the other side of the lake but um but we, what we don't understand is um is at the end of of this lake when we're at the actual lock is when you know the true uh true trouble starts for us to try to sleep that night so it's 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 coming up this is lake okeechobee and it's currently kicking our ass we got sunset coming we have about whoa shit. we got about eight nautical miles left Lake Okeechobee during small craft advisory or any time in the winter for that matter. Uh, a little cold. Uh, we got it. Taking a hell. Oh, this is nice. Whoa. So, this is an example of what I got to do the whole time. Just like that. <laughs> and hopefully, I don't drop this thing. That's pretty badass back there, guys. 
That's what it's all about. Should be by uh, about like eight miles, eight miles to go. Sweet. Okay guys, so we're on Lake Okeechobee. I don't know if you can see that. Small craft surprise. But our window, if we wanted to wait, would have been Thursday, which would have been shit. So, trying to stay on course here. Shit's pushing me everywhere. Uh, but this isn't a small craft, as everybody knows. Okay, we made it through Lake Okeechobee. Unfortunately, that before when we were in golf, that, that completely fell down. So, we gotta put that back. We're, uh, we're basically, here. We're basically at, uh, here, I'll show you. At the lock. Can't really, can't really tell behind me. That's uh, Port Maya, Mayaka, or I don't know. The other side, of Lake Okeechobee. It was crazy. So, uh, CO2 monitors are going off. I've replaced that one. And uh, shit, fuck. Sorry. See how loud that is? It's freaking loud. But uh, but tonight I'll be watching some. Netflix, as soon as I air this out, then the CO2 goes off. Uh, we're running pretty hard. Um, don't need CO2 monitors. But, uh, but yeah, we made it through uh, Lake Okeechobee. And it's still, still a little wobbly, by the way. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Okay, so what's day two? Yep. End of day two. I'm gonna give you a lowdown of what's going on right now. We are at Port Maya K Lock. And this is insane. So we're gonna take you outside, but we're uh we're bobbing and weaving right now because it's small craft advisory right outside. And uh, I'll show you in the map what's, what's going on. So, oh shit. So, we're anchored out right outside the lock. And we are bobbing and weaving. Oh shit. See? See, this is what I'm talking about. Look, the printer is just like, holy shit. That's crazy. Oh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fix that tonight before we go to bed so it doesn't fall on you. So uh -oh. so Matt's taking a little nap right now, <laughs> watching our Netflix because uh, we got some a little bit of Wi-Fi going. But uh, but we anchored out and I'm setting this up so tonight he can, we can monitor physically like where we anchored out because we can't get to the lock system. The problem is is. This lock system is only open from uh, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. So we got here at 7 p.m. It's a goddamn small craft advisory, so we're fucked. I mean, I'm sorry, it's uh, YouTube, so we're screwed until uh, 7 a.m. So we didn't even bother calling them. But we're monitoring our physical anchor location, and I'm gonna, you know, anchor lock and all that. So, but, uh,. Oh hell. Did you see the lights outside guys? Look, look at that. Look at that. It's going up. It's going down. It's going up. That's that's like 20, 30 degrees of rock. And you just saw you just saw that uh this shit was uh falling down. So uh yeah, if you stand in the middle, you're fine. So what time is it? Was it like nine o'clock? About nine o'clock. And uh, what we're gonna do is I uh, plan to 
relax a little bit more. Maybe, well, we can't really cook anything because uh, put the grill up there, <laughs> flying everywhere. But oh, by the way, any guy, anybody want a grill for a boat? You need to buy that. In my previous video, that magma grill, I cooked up some steaks last night. That is phenomenal. Phenomenal. So uh, let's go look outside real quick to see exactly where we are. It's kind of cold. It's going to be 40 degrees tonight. But uh, we need to figure out where we are. So let me shine the light. All right. So you see that? Uh, that's uh, over here is uh, the, the, the lock. And let me shine the light. So we're in between that, that beacon and uh, that one. I mean, shit, you can't even see it. That's like 60 feet from shore. But if I come up here, uh, whoa, it's really shaky. So if anybody doesn't have a 30 foot harbor, uh, you're going to be bobbing and weaving. All that, look at that, look at that. See that? Oh, things are falling. Things are, things are going crazy out here. Right? So, uh, hold on a second. So, oh. Alright. So, uh, <laughs> so this is really fun. It's a fun trip. I mean, we went two thirds of the entire state from Tarpon Springs, uh, from, uh, Tarpon Springs to the end of Lake Okeechobee. In two days. To me, that's insane. But uh, but I don't advise doing it if uh, if you're squeamish about uh, about falling all over yourself. But uh, I know I know, okay. So these lock people behind us, there's somebody manning it because think about it. Seven a.m. to five p.m for uh, personal boat craft. Well, the thing is, is what if there's a sea tow that needs to come out or the cops or whatever? They need to open a lock system 24 hours a day. And as you can see, holy shit, like I'm bobbing and weaving here, right? I mean, look behind me, like those lights behind me. Think about the boat, it's supposed to be level. This shit ain't level. So, uh, <laughs> It's a lot of fun tonight. I'm kind of cold. Whoa. It's like. Whoa. That's it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna sit down, guys. All right, I got. I gotta sit down. All right, this is an example of uh, you want to be careful walking a boat. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't walk around the boat and hold the camera and hold a flashlight and think you're gonna be okay when you're bobbing and weaving. Ain't gonna happen. But uh, but not only does Matt have like our, our, our positioning, I also have, uh, oh shit, see? Look, look at this. Look at this, look, look what happened. I got shit flying all over the place. We got extra fuel, just in case. Got my hookah. Another positioning system, uh, but yeah, but uh, but we'll just we'll just you know. It's, it's dark out. It's like a choke. It's crazy. So uh, oh shit, let me uh, let me fix these. God damn. Shit. Yeah, let's go down the stairs. Oh man. I hope I don't fall off the boat. Oh. Okay. So, if I were to fall off the boat, that wouldn't be a good idea. Whoa. Mass uh, like, Jesus Christ. Whoa. We're bouncing all over the place. Okay, so this brings me to a good point. Whoa. Shit. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Yeah, I know. Okay. Insane. Okay, so the point I'm trying to get at right now is uh, do you have a proper anchor? 
Now, I got a 40 pound anchor, 45 I think, 40, 45 pound anchor that, uh, whoa, that, uh, that can set and uh, get sand, mud, sand probably not so much, but we're Lake Okeechobee, so if you have a uh, 45 pound anchor, I don't even know, maybe a plow anchor would be good. I have a plow anchor, but if you have a Danforth, that could be cool too. But as you can see here again, we have not moved significantly from our position based on GPS coordinates. So whatever anchor you're gonna buy, whether it be for sand, mud, clay, whatever, Get the proper anchor for your uh, for your for your area, and uh, I can tell you something: a 45 pound foot anchor in sand ain't shit. <laughs> when the beach, when the well, if you're trying to beach it, well, not beach it because I did that already. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> um, when you're trying to get close to shore, uh, the storm rolls in, you're going to be your anchor is going to be all over the place. So get the right anchor for your for the sediment that you have, and always carry extra anchors. I got three. Got a back anchor, I got two front anchors just in case. So uh, just in case, you know, do things. We're gonna be here. I'm gonna be. Oh, wow, we got we got we got some Netflix going with Inception. We're uh, bobbing and weaving here, and I mean we're really bobbing and weaving. But uh, I will talk to you guys first thing in the morning. I'm gonna smoke some more hookah, maybe drink some more beers. This guy needs to wake up. I'm going to bed. He's going to bed. Yeah. He's my co-captain. Um, but yeah, well here's another tour of the boat. It's freaking messy as hell. I mean, we got we got every we got we got everything for this trip. We got uh, shore power cords. I mean, all the beer, all the water. I mean, water, just in case, you know, shit goes down. Um, oh, favorite. Everybody has to have something like this. You gotta have some ice cream, you know? You gotta have some mini ice cream, Bubba Burgers, and tequila. You know, because every night you wanna have, uh, you know, margaritas. Because this guy drinks a lot of margaritas. Absolutely. And, uh, oh, oh, by the way, when I do this, it's just gonna fall out. Watch this. This is what happens when sea is rolling and uh, you're not prepped for it. Okay, watch this. Oh, uh, only my, uh, whoa. Okay, a few things. Things are falling out. Oh, this is for tomorrow. I'm gonna have this Reese's whipped cream. So, I'm gonna make this guy some eggs, bubble burgers, bacon tomorrow. But uh, we're all stocked up. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be on the East Coast. But tomorrow morning, whoa. No, guys, seriously, I'm just not, I'm not doing that. That's really, that's really what's going on right now. And uh, see the lights outside. That's no joke. Alright, talk to you guys soon.